It's entry number five in Diary of a Beauty Snoop. Every good mystery has a plot twist. So come along with me as I transform into the always beautiful January Jones. The first step was to set my hair in hot rollers. This really helps to give more control and volume so that later I can transform my hair into January's signature bob. While those curls are setting, I started working on the face, and you can see in this picture that January has beautiful highlight and contour, so I definitely wanted to play that up. I started by highlighting down the bridge of my nose and across the top of my cheeks, and I went back with my contour color to really chisel out the nose, the top of the forehead, underneath that cheekbone, and underneath the jaw as well. Then I went back in with a luminescent kind of highlighter to just give a little bit more reflection and add to that powdery finish that she has in the picture. January has beautiful, bold eyebrows, and so I definitely wanted to play that up in my look. So I filled those in, and then I went back with a nude flesh tone highlighter to go underneath the brow, really clean up that line, and give an appearance of a lifted brow as well. January is wearing a beautiful smoky eye in this look, and at first glance you might think it's black, but if you look close, it's actually a beautiful midnight blue, and I think that's why I was most attracted to this cover. I just love that it was this like deep, dark blue in the eyes. So this is a gel liner that I'm applying there, and then I went back and I put in like that midnight blue shadow, and I just tapped it in so it was really pigmented across the lid to really add that smoky effect. I took an angled brush to pull out that cat eye and then to use that same blue to line underneath my eyes. And to complete the eyes, a heavy dose of black mascara and some false lashes. Once I took out the rollers, I went back and teased the crown of my hair to give some lift and volume and then I just took bobby pins and pinned it underneath to give the appearance of a much shorter bob. Next, it was all about the lips. I started by pre-lining the outer part of my lips around the flesh tone to give a really clean line so that when I lined it with the red, there would be a very strong definition between the two colors. Then I went back in with a matte cherry red lipstick and filled them in to get the same look as January is wearing. And we cannot forget her signature mole just over her lip. So there you have it. What do you guys think? Did I solve this doppelganger mystery? I think I can see an evil villain in my future somewhere. <laughs>